Back here at West Albany High School, start of the fourth quarter. Thanks for joining us tonight on 920K Show and on WAHSTV.com. Our first audio-video coordination between K Show and the students here at West Albany. Our thanks to them for the video feed tonight. 53-31 Bulldogs as we start the fourth, and the teardrop is good by Justin Ditchin. Loading through the paint to put it in. 53-33, lead still 20, but this is the closest that the Raiders have been in a while. The Bulldogs get the starting five back out there. Jalen Schlegel spinning his way in, putting it in with a left hand. <laughs> he's saying, no, you can't defend me. <laughs> that little nod he's got. It's like a, a, a Dikembe Mutombo kind of <laughs> kind of look to him as he heads down the floor. Ditchin bouncing it through traffic, knocked away by West Albany. Yeah, Jalen starts doing the finger wag. I think he's going to get some technicals <laughs> like Dikembe Mutombo. <laughs> They're bringing that back. Have you seen the commercial? Yes, with I the have. Oh, I yeah, love yeah, that. That's so funny. Love that commercial. Ditchin up top, guarded by Reed. 7.20 to go in the game. Bulldogs by 22. And that third quarter was a push. Same yep. differential, 22 points. 13 Three points. Three. 13 points apiece in that third. As a cutting, Mohammed Hassan will lay it in with the right hand. Ryan Dunn. Now, I don't think that's Ryan Dunn. It's, the ball is lobbed into Jalen and misses inside. There's a number 50 on the floor for Crescent Valley. Ryan Dunn is number 50 on the JV roster, but he's listed at 6'2", and this young man out here is not 6'2". As Justin Ditchin comes to front court, goes right for Baumgartner. Baumgartner into the corner for Hassan. Hassan all the way in, put it in with a foul. Mohamed Hassan with some good minutes tonight for the Ravens. And what, what we're seeing right now, and I didn't want to say this earlier, Ryan, is the Bulldogs had a huge lead against South Albany in that, in that game, the rivalry game. And then South started making a fourth quarter run at them. 6.44 to go here. I did not panic time. Bulldogs are up 18. But we've seen some productive offensive time now by Crescent Valley on, the, on this end of the floor. It's quick shots by West on the other end. Got to be careful. Just got to got to keep playing your game and keep being aggressive. The lead is down to 17. If we're going to get a foul in front court, that will put Chad Sherwood at the line for a one and one. Jared Baumgartner called for the foul. Crescent Valley seven. So Chad with the four fouls will be at the line here. One and one. 6:39 to go. 17 point lead for West Albany. Trent Linden is back in for the Raiders. Jared Baumgartner checks out. That's just the first foul on Baumgartner has been nowhere near as productive as he was the first time these teams played. Chad Sherwood at the foul line, looking for his first points in the second half. After 21 in the first half, and he gets it. There's one good. Let's see if we can maybe put uh, Jeff to work finding out who the number 50 is out there for Crescent Valley. Try to get the name of that young man, clearly up off the JV roster. That would be Joe Casey. Is it Joe Casey? I wondered if it was. Son of Oregon State head baseball coach Pat Casey. As Joe gets it off to Ditchin, and Ditchin, oh, high dribble, just able to keep his hand on top of it, close to a carry, as Ditchin works at the front court. 57-38, West Albany. It's Chad Sherwood guarding Joe Casey up top. Now Ditchin pushing his way right through traffic. High arcing shot over Nate Sherwood, bounces out. Rebounded underneath by Linden, who lost it to Casey. Casey up top to Hassan. Hassan, a little teardrop underneath, short. Pulled down by Linden, who goes up and gets fouled. Raiders a little bit more scrappy here in the second half. Yeah, they're the aggressors right now, and, and as they need to be, they're down 19 in this game. But, but uh, West Albany, I don't think they're, they're handling this very well right now. They need to go back to what got them to this point, and that's imposing their game on Crescent Valley. Linden at the foul line, first one up, around and off, no good, very strong. So Joe Casey, five foot six freshman, out on the floor. And of course, remember Brett Casey, another son of Pat, his time at Crescent Valley. Very good basketball and football, or a baseball player rather, of course, you might expect from dad. Son missing on both, 57-38. West a 19-point lead, six minutes to go. Chad Sherwood gets it up it's top. going up. A deep three for Chad. Bingo. Straight away. Deep three. Timeout, Wes. It will be a full. Chad Sherwood is fifth three of the night. The Bulldogs push the lead back to 22, and we'll step away for a moment. Coming back to 9.20 K-Show. Join the fun at the Albany Athletic Club. Athletic Club. Group fitness classes from low-impact dance to traditional circuit training, plus racquetball and more. Watch your waist and shrink and your health improve every day. Yeah. Okay. There we go. 
salted or barley cheese on a toasted hoagie roll and the chocolate hazelnut milkshake. Pick up an Albany Burgerville rewards card now. Cash for every dollar spent. Albany Burgerville. Fresh, local, sustainable. You will come out a winner at Power Honda. Their talented staff will show you how easy it is to get the vehicle you want and the payment you need. Check out MyPowerHonda.com. Call 928-0122 or just go in to Power Honda. Highway 20 east of I-5 in Albany, your Honda Superstore. We're Linco Federal Credit Union. Keep your money in Link County with Linco Federal Credit Union. Enjoy a visit with one of our friendly staff at a neighborhood branch near you today. Linco Federal Credit Union in Albany, Lebanon, and Sweet Home. In Lynn, you're in. Albany Grocery Outlet Market Market across from the Heritage Mall has Senior Day. The first Tuesday of every month, $2 off every purchase of $15 or more. Albany Grocery Outlet Market Market. 100% satisfaction guaranteed across from the Heritage Mall with bargains on the brands you trust. 920 KSHO. Out of the timeout, Crescent Valley getting a little opportunities at the rim. A couple blocks by West, and then finally a jumper good from Tanner Holland. So it is a 60 to 40 West Albany lead, 5.32 to go in the game. I like that defensive possession a little bit better by, by West Albany. They challenged every shot and really made Crescent Valley work for, for what they got there, a little mid-range jumper, which Crescent Valley always so good with. Bulldogs with a 20-point lead, 60 to 40, 5.32 to go. Real quickly, want to say hi to John Birchfield, who had to leave to go scoop ice cream. Ah. Said he's listening to us, though. All right. Chad Sherwood along the baseline, scooping it underneath, loose on the floor, picked up by Crescent Valley and Trent Linden. 20-point Bulldog lead, 5.22 to play here tonight. Joe Casey, the freshman, out on the right wing for Crescent Valley, guarded by Schlegel, goes to the corner for Tanner Fees. Weak side help. Sorry, I was being a coach there. <laughs> <laughs> That's good radio. Out to wait, see it's on TV tonight though, so you're okay. Yes, up top, the ball is knocked away off Crescent Valley. Good day by Nate Sherwood to swat it off the leg of Joe Casey and out of bounds. Not sure if we mentioned uh, a little bit earlier, though, but Cres or, uh, West Albany with the JV and freshman wins tonight. Plays basketball. And the girls' varsity for West winning right before this game, so it's been a good night for the Bulldogs. Continuing here in the varsity game, the game West Albany has led throughout the lead by 20. The Bulldogs try to go inside to Chad Sherwood. He's held on the catch. And we'll go to the line for a one and one with 4.51 left. Chad Sherwood with 26 points tonight. That is his season high. It's his sixth game of 20 or more, second consecutive. And it eclipses the 25 that he scored against Lebanon back on January the 11th. Dogoff gets a C. Chad post up down at the low block there. Had the little high low thing going. Usually it's, it's Jalen to Nate. That time Chad, a great position, draws the foul. No good on the first. Misses the free throw, exasperated as he comes back up the floor. Jacob Wood into front court for Crescent Valley. 4.40 to go. Bulldogs leading by 20, and I think Chad Sherwood. No. Oh, an offensive foul. Offensive foul on Crescent Valley. I thought they were going to foul Chad out as he tried to sell the charge right at midcourt. This will go against Tanner Fees, and the Raider fans voicing their displeasure. Mike Stair puts his hands on his cheeks. He's also frustrated. That's a really tough call to make and an instantaneous one there. That could have gone either way. Probably wouldn't have drawn a lot of, it would have drawn argument from both, from either side here. Tanner Pease fouling out of this game. Is that right? No, the, no they called it on Ricardo Gonzalez. And that is his fifth. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't Ricardo saying I don't that was on so. me? Yeah, yeah, they're getting 30-0. Yeah, zero, zero. Zero. Yeah. So it is Pease, not Gonzalez. And confusion abounding here as they will get the proper players on the floor. Tanner Holland had come into the game, now comes back to the scorer's table. Now will retreat to his bench. And Josh Bryant will about it for West. Okay, 439 to go, Bulldogs by 20. And, and they got they got Tanner Fees. Fourth foul, okay. Yep. I was thinking maybe he had fouled out as well. Or instead of. <laughs> So it's Sawyer Reed who comes to front court, hands it off to Chad Sherwood, around Gonzalez to the baseline. Shot too strong, rebounded underneath by Crescent Valley and Tanner Fees. The Bulldogs need to turn and shoot back at that rim down to the left, because that's where Chad was really feeling it. A little bit colder here in the second half, still 26 on the night, phenomenal night for Sherwood. And Wood dribbles up top for Crescent Valley, using a lot of time on the possession with the Raiders down 20, and 4.07 to play. Fees lost the handle. Into the hands of Chad. Nate was sprinting up the floor. 
Freeman for the ball. Chad will bring it slowly up to Reed. Reed guarded by Joe Casey. Gets it to Nate on the right wing. Nate up top for Chad between the circles. Whip left for Reed. Reed down to Schlegel. Left of the block. Spinning on Linden. Going all the way in. With the fake. Comes back out to Chad. Open for three. You bet. From the right wing. Another one for Chad. He's got six threes tonight. And 13 in his last two games. <laughs> and 29 for the game. Unbelievable. 63 to 40. I can't remember the last time we saw a 30-point score. Oh, and we're not going to. Now <laughs> here come a fresh five. The Bulldogs need a steal and a layup here for Chad. Bees, Brucher with no whistle this time. Out to Wood. Out to Gonzalez. He's going to fire a three. Back rim, no good. A rebound to Reed. And we could see it yet. If Chad Sherwood can get a bucket on this possession. Reed's saying Chad put it up. Into the corner for Nate. Nate along the baseline. Goes up and misses the layup. Out of bounds. It will go to West Albany. But... The starters will be done, and they should get a big round of applause. I tell you what, for one of the very few times, I am going to cheer on press row for the Bulldog Five tonight. A tremendous job from that starting unit. As the Bulldogs hold a 23-point lead, Ben Engel, Brady Young, Cameron Dixon, Jesse Berkey, Isaiah Edwards out on the floor. Really good effort by that first five. Feels like the first seven there with, uh, when you consider you know, Josh Bryant coming off the bench. Boy, start Pete to finish. Bader, it really, it really was. It was a great effort tonight. Three minutes to go. Bulldogs by 23. Berkey into Edwards. Knocked away from him out of bounds. West will keep it. Obviously, it starts with Chad and the 29 points, the six threes. But just the energy level was so much higher tonight. As Cameron Dixon, great look on the inbound for Berkey. And Dixon puts it in. Oh, boy. Mike Stair wants a timeout. It'll be a 30. We'll stay here, and I'll read a couple of spots. Farmers Insurance is the right choice for auto insurance, home, life, business, boat, and RV insurance, and a whole lot more. Your local farmers experts are Roland Brower and Tim Finley on 9th across from Mark Thomas Motors in Albany. Go Bulldogs. And for over 50 years, Mega Foods has been offering the best quality and taste, more than just a supermarket, also a good neighbor, Mega Foods in Lebanon and Albany. 2.50 to go tonight, 65 to 40, West Albany with the lead. They will get the win to go to 13 and 7, 7 and 3 in the middle limit, and they will tie Crescent Valley for second in the league. And as we said before the game, really their final chance to improve their power ranking. And this is going to help. We're going to play some teams that are quite a ways down in the power rankings here in, in, in games coming up. This West Albany team did what they needed to do tonight against a good Crescent Valley team. The team ahead of them in the standings, and West just took it to them. Real proud of them, and, and uh, be a lot better taste. Going, going forward and going into this weekend, we maybe get to relax a little bit. And then back at it on Tuesday, Woodburn will come here to West Albany High School. We'll have it for you on K-Show, of course, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. tip time. Gonzalez rising the paint, finger roll, too strong. Rebound comes down to Ben Angle on the run. Up ahead, it's Isaiah Edwards. Isaiah powers it down with two hands. In the open floor, Isaiah Edwards with a two-hand dunk. And that gets them on their feet again here at West Albany High School. Oh, man, did he get out in front. Elevation, son. 67 to 40. The explosiveness of Isaiah Edwards as Linden puts it up too strong. Rebounded by Cameron Dixon. Two big dunks tonight. That one was impressive. Two-hand throw down from Isaiah Edwards. He now gets it on the blocks. Out to Berkey. He wants a three. Why not? A triple for Berkey. No, it's getting away now with two minutes left. 70 to 40, West Albany. <laughs> Joe Casey on a handoff to Gonzalez. Ben Angle with him. Gonzalez gets it back to Casey. Casey's going to launch a deep three, left hand three that's short. Rebound to Dixon. No, Dixon lost it. Gonzalez chases it down to Linden. And Linden will bring it back up top. 135 to go. Joe Casey will step into another three. This one is an air ball off to the right. And out of bounds, it will go to West Albany. With 1.30 left, 70 to 40. Well, Crescent Valley has lost twice to Silverton by 18. They lost in the first game of the season to Churchill by 62. But nobody else has done to them this year what West Albany has done tonight. Yeah, Crescent Valley, when you think about it, a five-point winner over Corvallis. Pass to the top, deflected, nearly stolen, kicked around now, and here is a kick ball. And I think it's going to belong to West Albany. Last kick by Mohamed Hassan. Yep. Both both were inadvertent kicks, yeah. but I think you have to call it on that one. One was kicked by Edwards, then kicked back by Hassan. 
And how about Isaiah Edwards getting his first dunk of the season? And guess what? It's on TV. Yeah. And it was vicious. Isaiah Edwards, six foot four sophomore. There will be more of those in our broadcasting future. And Jesse Berkey takes the inbound in backcourt. Tried to whip it inside for Young. Deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with West with 110 left. Now, this is one that Coach Zimmerman can feel pretty good about tonight. This was a payback night for West Albany, no doubt about it. And they asserted themselves from the start. The inbound comes to Brady Young, up top for Ben Angle. He had hounded by Casey. Fires left corner. Berkey, another three on the way for Jesse. This one's too strong. Rebound spiked out of bounds, belonging to Crescent Valley, with one minute on the game clock. Bulldogs, their biggest lead of the night right now, 30, with one minute to play. Joe Casey into front court, working with a left-hand dribble, guarded by Ben Angle, uses a high screen from Holland, comes around to the right, window wiping up top. Now comes around to Linden screen and gets it to Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to go around Dixon. Now uses a Holland screen to the top, bounces it to Casey, around to Hassan, he'll launch a three. That's short, rebounded by Cameron Dixon. Stripped away from him into the hands of Angle, into front court with a half minute to go. Angle underneath for Edwards, through his hands and out of bounds. Isaiah will tap his chest and say, my fault. Ben Engel saw him coming coming loose and knew that he was going to be open down there. Isaiah is looking at his spot and not able to uh, get his eyes focused there on the pass before it got to him. 23 seconds to go tonight. A very impressive Bulldog victory over Crescent Valley. As Mohamed Hassan to the baseline. Tough arcing shot. Good. Over Edwards and Young. Mohamed Hassan, the senior. We did not see him play, I don't believe, in the first matchup. But he's been good tonight. High energy minutes as the final seconds will tick away. Ben Angle in front court cradles the ball with four, with three, and the ovation will begin. A very impressive peak out performance by West Albany tonight. Head to toe in pink for the Bulldogs. And they come out with a big win tonight over Crescent Valley, 70 to 42 over the Raiders. We'll come back and wrap this one up at 9.20 K-Show. Isaiah Edwards, Isaiah powers it down with two hands.